In Photoshop, when you want to start a new project, you have to create a new one. And here you can choose basically how big your project should be. We will stick to the 4K format, which is 3840 by 2160 pixels. Of course, you can choose any format you like. You can see a lot of presets up here, also for print. Let's get back to recent. You can also, of course, dial in those values manually. And keep in mind that you choose the right units. These are set to pixels, and this is the way to go at the moment. But of course, you can also choose centimeters or something that you like for other projects. Don't check artboards. Artboards are a subject that we can deal with later on. Keep it unchecked. The resolution is no issue at all. Any value is okay, because resolution doesn't mean anything in this context. What you should concentrate on are these two values. Color mode is RGB color, of course, because we producing for screen. Background is white, that's also okay. And color profile is sRGB. Now create. You see there is one single white rectangle showing up. This is your file. Now you can start working in this file. You can stack layers and do things. When you open up several documents in Photoshop, they'll appear side by side, tabbed. This is per default. You can also change this, but it's a very practical way to work inside Photoshop. Now let's first of all talk about the workspace. When you open up Photoshop for the first time, you see something like this with a huge learning panel. And as I would say, a lot of stuff that you don't need. You can always drag these things around and just delete them. And you can do whatever you want. You find all the panels in the window menu. And now let's produce our own user interface. Choose the layers panel. Let's tear this layer panel out of it and get rid of this stuff. Now we move the layer panel over here. You see a blue line showing up. This means you can place your layer panel at this right side of your screen. And now you see the layer panel is stacked inside your interface. Now there are some other panels that I would like to see on my interface, which are window properties. Let's just drag this guy over here. Now for the moment, let's stay with that. In case you're satisfied, you can save this workspace, workspace, new workspace, and here you can give it a name. I always use my initials and something else. Let's save it like that. Now, whenever you're stuck with some chaos on your screen, like for example, you have something like this and you move panels around and you want to clean up again, you just go to the window menu, choose workspace and reset the workspace that you are working in. Okay. So now everything is cleaned up again. The toolbar presents you with the tools that you can use in Photoshop. And it's possible that it doesn't show you all the tools that Photoshop has. To check this, you can click on this small icon, edit toolbar, and you see all the active tools showing up in your toolbar. They are grouped. So all the groups are represented in the toolbar with these small little arrows. And as you can see, there are no extra tools that are hidden in this workspace. Let's choose the workspace motion. Doing the same thing, you can just check the edit toolbar and you can already see there are lots of tools not actually showing up in the toolbar. Okay. So just keep this in mind. If you miss some tools, you'll find them this way. Now let's get back to my workspace that I created for myself. As you can see, there are huge previews showing up and this is pretty annoying. I think even for beginners, so you can uncheck this, go to the Photoshop menu or in windows, you check edit preferences down here and they can see we have the tools options and you can just uncheck the show rich tooltips. Okay. So now these huge animated previews are gone.